Hi everybody, I'm Danny Dancer. I'm the Kidtropolis Educator here at Children's Museum Houston. And today's video is sponsored by Reliant Energy as part of our Protect Our Planet Wonder Week. So we are coming up on Earth Day here. And in honor of Earth Day, I'm actually gonna show you guys with my daughter, Corey, how you can make a water wheel. Now there are different ways that we can generate the electricity that we use every single day in our homes and schools and businesses. And some of those use what are called non-renewable energy sources, things like coal and oil and natural gas. And some of them use renewable energy sources, things like solar power, wind power, and water power. And all a water wheel does is it uses moving water, like from a waterfall or a moving river, to spin what's called a turbine in order to get our electricity generation. So we are gonna show you how you can engineer your own type of water wheel today, and then we're gonna demonstrate how we can actually get it to spin using some moving water. Now the materials that you are going to need for this, you need two paper plates, you need a uh, paper clip or something you can use to just poke a small hole in the center of your plates, and then you need something like index cards or if you have playing cards that you don't need anymore because you wouldn't be able to play cards with them afterwards, but playing cards that you can use for this experiment. Those work really well because they have a little bit of a plastic coating on them. You also need something like a wooden dowel or skewer, or in this case, we're using chopsticks and a stapler. And then finally, you need a bin that you can pour water into that you can test the wheel on top of, and then just a big container of water. So Corey is actually gonna do a lot of the engineering for this. This is a project that she has done in her fourth grade classroom at school. So she's to kind of show me how it goes and I'm gonna maybe do a little bit of testing or experimenting alongside her. Are you ready? All right, Corey, what's our first step? Well, there can be different first steps, but in this case, I th think we should get our hole okay. in the middle. All right, so we're gonna find the center and we're gonna poke a hole. So now we're gonna put this on next? Yeah. Okay, cool. We might have All right, push it through a little. There we go. And then do we do that with both? Yep. Okay. We can take this out for now, though. Cool. Ah, totally worked. And then how close do they have to be to each other? Um, they have to have some of it sticking out, and they they have to be actually pretty close for our cards. Ah. In this case. So tell me, what do we do with our cards? We have to fold it kind of like at one point, at one point on the other side it so then we can staple those ends in the middle. Well. All right, let's give it a try. So what if I hold this down and you fold up? Does that work? Sort of? Yeah. Cool. And then if I hold it here and you fold up? All right, neat. You want to crease them down a little bit more? Okay. Okay. Are we going to make them all basically like this? Yes. So we and could I just like put this in the middle and then like crease them all on top? I guess. Okay, let's do that. <sighs> How many are we gonna make? We need to get eight for this. Eight, okay. okay. You can have all of it sticking in. And it's easier if we don't have this, if we take one of the plates off at a time to okay. do it though. Okay. With that, I think I'll find it easier. Okay, so what are we doing next? Um, I'd prefer to use it, the one without the skewer. Got it. Needs it. We have to take our stapler and we can't have all we can't have all of the card on it i find it easy to make i find it easy to sometimes have it be like like this so you can so it's kind of like it they're hugging it or something got it so we're gonna put eight cards on and do we need to space them pretty evenly around um kind of just make it like quarters I kind guess. of quarters that's a good technique okay let's do that all right, so we've got our first four on, and now we're, what are we going to do with the next four? We can either put them in the same pattern on the other one, or we can put them all on right away. All right, let's go with putting them all on right away. It's important to make sure you have everything facing in the same direction, though. Good tip. Awesome. All right, let's get these last ones on. All right, so we have eight cards on. What's our next step? We have to take the other paper plate. And we're gonna, this kind, this might get a little tricky because mm -hmm. some of the cards will get in the way. 
Yeah, but we have to staple the things on the top now. To the other plate. Okay, let's do this. I'll hold. It you might be staple. easier if we. It might be easier if we put it to upside down. So this is Good on the call. bottom, though. All right, I'll still hold a new staple. Now that we finished, the final step is to poke your skewer or in our case chopstick through the hole. All right, our water wheel is finished, but when we put it into our bin, we discovered that our water wheel with the cards on the end was a little bit too big. So we've had to bring in a larger bin, and then because the skewer didn't quite reach all the way across, we also just added in some long tubes that we had handy that we could rest the edges of the skewer on. You can also use yard sticks for this or just anything else that you have that's long and stiff that'll make it all the way across the bin. But we do have enough room in the bin to hold the water. So Corey, tell us about what are some things that you discovered while we were building this water wheel? Well, one of the things is uh, you have to be careful about this just in case, because you might get a staple in your hand. So you might want to have an adult do it for you if you don't feel very comfortable. And also you need to staple these in the same direction, otherwise it might look, it will still work, but it'll look a little weird. Okay, very cool. So very important information and good safety tip as well. Corey, you got the water, you're gonna pour this. Let's see if we can get our wheel to spin so that we could theoretically use this to generate electricity if we had our full setup. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Moving water equals moving water wheel. Wait. Very exciting. Well done using your natural resources. Have fun. Very cool. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us for today's video, which was sponsored by Reliant Energy. We hope you have a wonderful Earth Day. We hope you'll practice this and other experiments we have to share with you all this week at home. And we know we will see you all again really soon. Bye. Bye.